these are incredible pieces of kit. He's having a look at me now. This is uh, Max or Ben. I'm not quite sure which one. Do you know, it's difficult to tell them apart, to be honest. But uh, they're here to help uh, children with autism. There are 30 pupils here at Topcliffe with autism. And these robots are proving to be vital tools in helping them learn and communicate uh, and get on with their school life. Our head teacher is just going to see if we can wake Max up here. He's going to get up. Now, the technology needed for a robot to be able to stand up like that is phenomenal for him to be able to move around. He's giving us a little bow there. He might even give us a dance, Eamon. See what you think to this. Some great moves. He's better than any dad on the dance floor. But there's, there's more to it than just seeing them as a toy. They're about £15,000 each of these. They're not cheap and they're a vital educational tool. He nearly fell over. If he does fall over, he actually says ouch and gets back up again. But while he's, while he's dancing, I'll have a quick chat with uh, head teacher Ian Lowe. What are the real benefits of these? Well, they help the children uh, enable them to communicate better. So children who are struggling to communicate and uh, learn effectively, these robots tap into their uh, motivation and they really enable them to learn and play games and also to sometimes uh, get the children to be able to communicate with things that actually um, teachers aren't able to do. And is that one of the main issues with autism, it, it, is that communication, trying to establish that link and, and a connection? Yeah, ch children are... Autistic children are still very clever and we believe that all of them can succeed and it's just tapping into that um, communication block and these are fantastic tools to enable that to happen. They are amazing pieces of care. I mean, the technology, as I said, is, is absolutely phenomenal. The University of Birmingham are working with the robots developers in order to try and maximise their potential for, for schools such as this. I'll see if I can get him to stand up again. I don't know if he will. It's the other way around, it's the other way around I'm told. There we go. He might do something now. In the meantime, I'll have a chat with a couple of the children. Stephen, what do you think to these robots? How helpful are they? Uh, a lot. A lot. What do, what do you like getting them to do? Uh, to do the thriller dance. To do the thriller dance. We've just seen him do that. He's fantastic, isn't he? Can you dance like that? Yes. You can? <laughs> awesome. That's brilliant. And Kaleem, you can dance as well. You enjoyed watching him doing the thriller dance, didn't you? It was brilliant. Um, my favourite was the thriller dance. That's your favourite as well. Oh, yeah. He's brilliant, isn't he? He's so clever. He's doing a little presentation for us at the moment. Daniel, what do you like to get him to do? He does memory games, doesn't he? Yeah, I like the thriller dance too. Is it the best bit? Yeah. Oh, we all like the thriller dance here. I think Eamon will like the thriller dance as well. And how about you, Joshua? You, get, you play memory games with him, you said? Uh, yeah, memory games. And what other things? What other things do you do? Uh, we uh, we do the card games um, and we and we we trying to find a white mom if we turn it over. Oh wow! So he's helping you learn then. Yes. Do you think it's great that they've got them here at the school? Yes. Do you find him really helpful? Yes. You don't get him to do your homework for you though, do you? No. <laughs> you do all that yourself. I'm glad to hear it.